Vice President Day in, in white African attire, just like President George Weir from Liberia in, in white
Position behind me. I 
I want to thank you for your resilience, your commitment, and the confident repose in me. Said to the Liberian people, I will not make you. I will not make you shame because I was one of you. I can see my friends here when we used to live in the ghetto. And I'm glad that one of the men that made us go in every time in the ghetto, who was the KD, now he's a pastor, he's here. Katush, good to see you. You know, when I came to free time, I told my friends that I got family here. And I see my little sister there, Yvonne. She's red. Where Yvonne? Auntie Yvonne. Yvonne is red there, Auntie Yvonne. So, Liberia and Sierra Leone, we are one. We need to keep the region safe. You know, we're worried during your elections. Because when Sierra Leone have a problem, Liberia also have a problem. So I was calling the president and also the elected president to make sure that in the interest of the Sierra Leone people, let there be peace. Sierra Leone have been through a lot. We have a similar story. And I show my friends that are in Sierra Leone today is because of the war yeah, yeah. happening in Liberia. Yeah. Okay. And those who are that are in Liberia today in Sierra Leone is because of the war. Yeah. So let us make sure that the past be the past and we embrace each other for a better Sierra Leone, a better Liberia, yeah. and a better Guinea, our region. For us, we promise to make Liberia better. We started already. We will not make you shame. For 170 years, Liberia been what it is. And when I was campaigning, I told my supporters, it's not because of me. Liberia is the way it is. But no one to be blamed. Now we are looking for the possibility and the opportunity to make sure that you give her the chance to change what have not been changed for a long time. So we brought the change for hope. And today I'm glad we've got above that Liberia, now you can see transformation little by little. We just came five months ago. Those ghetto that we live in, now they have hope. Today you can see that those that never experienced light, today they have current, they have light, the children can study, the people can sell up to 12, 12 midnight. That is a good start. We promise that those that are taking wires, our young children, will make sure that government pay so they can roam the street. And our people address that already. If the God that we believe in is the living God, then we will break the record. We will be the first government that pass budget on time. So we are working for our people. You, you have professional people among you. Job is in Liberia. We are ready to receive you. We are looking for doctors, nurses, professional people that can help us to move our country forward. So if you want to work in Liberia, you are welcome. Yes, we are ready for business. Yeah. Yeah. And Liberia yeah. is ready to receive you. Yeah. Yes,
The prayer is your country, don't be the shame. The reason you came here is to learn something. So if you if you have that education already, we need it. You need to come and help us. This is a proper government, the government of all. The government for the people, by the people. So we all must make sure that we participate. You know when your opposition, like I said to the Honorable House yesterday, everybody complain. Why you want to complain now? When you were opposition, you said that you were the best. So for me, I don't complain. Because the life that I live, the impossible life that I live, I believe that when you are given an opportunity, don't shift blame. You have to work to show what you can do. So our government is working for the Liberian people, and the Liberian people are happy. We are happy, and we're going to work to change the face of what have not been changed for 170 years. I can guarantee you, if you decide to leave free time, to go to Liberia, you will not experience the rules that you experience. If you go to the South Town, where I live, my village that I live, where you see everyone living in huts. Well, before you come to Liberia, you will see there will be no more hut. There will be a decent living place for our people. There will be roads because we want to decentralize Liberia, not just in the Maserato County. So we are preparing, but next year you will see a highway up to Sasta because I want to go back home. I know the crew people are happy. So we're doing our best. Glad to see you. I want to thank you for reposing the confidence in me, but I can guarantee you, if I'm there for six years, I'm a man of action, less talking, because I believe that pragmatism is the order of the day. So we are ready to change your country. You can come anytime, you see that. You have the possibility to find a job. You have a possibility to live like you're living in Paris or Monaco or what have you. God bless you all.